what's going on guys, Arix here and welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne and today I want to talk about a few important event quests that you're going to want to make sure you do both this week and over the coming weeks and this is both for console and PC. To be clear, there are some discrepancies here, the first ones I'll talk about are only for console but there are also some important quests you will definitely not want to miss if you're on PC. Of course if you take a look at the roadmap you'll of course know that for console players we're kind of in that weird little sort of downtime period between the next sort of big update we of course have the variants dropping in march they'll be for pc in april and then of course we sync up so in between that we kind of have just a few little event quests to keep us busy just to kind of allow us to farm a few things and kind of get ready but there isn't like a huge thing to look forward to and for that reason you may well have kind of just sort of taken a little break maybe not paid too much attention to what's going on and there are definitely some event quests that you are still going to want to tick off so with that being said let's turn our attention to that. So the very first thing I want to talk about, of course, this, these next five quests are just for console for now. The first one is called When the Swift Meets the Raw. This is against T-Rex and Naga Cougar, and this is available from the 21st, which was later last week, until the 19th of March. So you have a couple of weeks to do this one, and this, basically completing it, is just a means to farm some ancient face stones. So of course that is a, you know, pretty good thing to farm if you want some of those, then this is the quest you want to turn your attention to. Following on from there, you then have Heavy Metal in the Waste. This is one of those Hunterthon quests, of course, in the uh, Wildspire Waste. And the main reason for this is if you want to go and chase down those gold crowns. I know some of you guys like to uh, try and tick those off. There was once a time when I was trying to kind of get all my gold crowns. I have since given up, but maybe one day I'll do it. Either way, if you're chasing gold crowns, then again, late last week, the 21st of February, until only this week, the 27th. So you have a very small window for this one. So if you want to get some gold crowns, that is your window. The 21st of February until the 27th of February is your Hunter Thorn in the Wildspire Waste as a chance to get some gold crown monsters. Now, once that one is finished, of course, if you look ahead to later this week, the 28th of February, you have Symphony of the Coral, which is another Hunterthon, again with the main purpose or the sole purpose of getting those gold crowns. That one runs from the 28th of February until the 5th of March. So again, another very small window, but still something to chase if you want those gold crowns. Following on from there, you then have the Wrath of Thunder Descends. This is a tempered monster quest, and this one is your chance to farm carved face stones. So of course, right now, until the 19th of March, you have your means to farm ancient face stones against T-Rex and Naga. Meanwhile, at the end of this week, the 28th of February, when this one goes live, you have your chance to farm carved face stones. And that runs from the 28th all the way up to the 19th of March. And then finally, on the 6th of March, you have Rotten Canzone, or Rotten Canzoni, I'm not sure how you're supposed to uh, pronounce that one, but either way, that is your third Hunterthon, again, with the main purpose, or the sole purpose, of hunting down those gold crowns. That one runs from the 6th of March until the 12th of March, so again, a very small window. So basically, those Hunterthon quests are essentially a week for you to kind of basically jump in and farm some gold crowns, so they are the ones to focus on. But that's basically what you need to kind of pay attention to over the next few weeks, because shortly after that, I would imagine we'll be getting the next two variants. So I imagine the kind of reason a lot of these quests are finishing around that kind of middle of March period will probably be when they announce them to drop. That is, of course, speculation, but either way, those are, for the time being, if you're looking for kind of things to do in Monster Hunter right now on console, things to keep you busy, that's basically what you have to do. Farm some ancient face stones, farm some carved face stones, and chase those gold crowns. Now, following up from there, these three quests are for PC players, and these are very important quests, right? The first one is Muscle Monkey Madness, the one against two Rajang, and this is to get the buff body armor. If you guys haven't seen this, then uh, this is my favorite armor set. I really like this one. And this, of course, applies to both male and female. If you want to walk around like you have been living in the gym, then definitely get this. And the armor set is actually pretty good. I reworked my primary armor set, my mix set, so that I can use this because there are some good skills in it. So this quest runs from later this week, the 28th of February, up until the 12th of March. That's your chance to get the buff body armor. In that same window, you also have a chilling entrance, your chance to get the ninja scarf, which is the ultimate anime item. Definitely want that. Also a very good item, does have points in resentment, but it's also got two level four slots, so it's very, very good for using in mix sets. And you then have Scores of Ores, also your chance to get the Pickaxe Longsword again in that same window. So for PC players, towards the end of this week, the 28th of February, that is when you want to jump in and grab those three quests. So that's it for the time being, just a super quick video, just a quick update to let you guys know what quests are happening right now and what things you should be turning your attention to, because there's definitely a few things that are, if you're taking a little break, you may have missed, so definitely jump in and grab some of those items. Anyway, that's it for the time being, be sure to keep it locked, we'll have more stuff for you guys later on. But until then, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.
I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.